Hi everybody! Today's video is going to be a little bit more serious and educational, but try not to worry, I'm not going to make you feel like the world's going to end or anything, it's going to be okay. I've been reading your comments and things as you post them, and I really like to hear from you and, and hear, you know, what you like and what you don't like about pretty much everything. I just wanted to touch base on a recurring theme that I'm seeing in a lot of comments. There's quite a few comments about my appearance, which I don't mind. It's good and bad, either way, you know what, I'm fine, I don't care. Mostly good though, so thank you. But the two things I hear most often often are, number one, you look like a beautiful elven prince. Number two, you look like an alien. And whether you believe the first, the second, or both, which is also fine. I'm just here to explain to you why my face looks so unique. I know it does, I'm not stupid. But unique is not synonymous with bad, and bad is not synonymous with unique, and oranges and apples and toast and butter and... Basically, I have a genetic mutation called Wardenburg Syndrome. It sounds scary when you say genetic mutation, it sounds scary when you say syndrome, but it literally is extremely minor. I function normally, normally. Like, I'm getting into these ableist terms now, like, I'm part of the X-Men. That's all you need to know. Essentially, it affects my facial structure, uh, the pigmentation in my body and my hair and my skin and everything, and also my hearing. I inherited this from my mother's side of the family, so a lot of us on her side look very similar. We have extremely similar faces, and that's just it's just sort of common for people with Wardenburg Syndrome to look similar. Like, there are people halfway across the planet with a very similar face to me, and I think that's really interesting because, you know, I'll see them online or out and about, which is, you know, rare. I've probably seen four or five people outside of my family with Wardenburg Syndrome ever. So it's really interesting when I get to see somebody and I know, like, I, I, I get your struggle, I get you, I know you, you know? With my face, what Wardenburg's has affected is basically the width of everything. So, I'm sure you guys have noticed that my eyes are spaced considerably apart and honestly like the way I think of this now is like it's like telling somebody they have a big nose I know I think it looks great I don't care but I want to just I want to make sure you guys know everything that's going on here you know I just want to make sure you guys know what's going on to cover a lot of ground all at once it's widened my eyes my lips don't have any cupids bow I don't know if you can see that I'm looking at the screen that's taboo but like yeah there's no cupids bow here right so it's more flat which means whenever I do big drag lips, I have a really nice 1940s smear, which makes me very happy. As far as the spacing of my eyes goes, because this is usually what people target and like, you know, viciously attack about me, it took me a long time when I was younger to learn to ignore people's comments, because the more I acted, you know, hurt, and the more I was visibly wounded by these people, the more they would do it. So my confidence was whittled down to almost nothing until I started working with makeup, which is why I love makeup so much, it's because, you know, I can alter my face, but I've come to love my eye shape now. Um, and it was something before that I felt, you know, I can put makeup on and then it's different, but now I like my eyes regardless of whether I have makeup on or not. I like them both ways. My nose, too. I don't know if you guys see this this little cute little thing on my face here. And so there's no bump or bridge or ridge or this, it's just sort of a slope. Um, and that's from Wardenburg Syndrome, is it sort of, it gives you this sloped sort of elven shaped nose. It's really convenient for me, seeing as I'm actually, you know, an elf. Really. So everything else with my face, besides the width of my eyes, my lip shape, and my nose, is just normal genetic traits, just from my background. Another thing that Wardenburg Syndrome does is it drastically increases the rate at which your hair grows. That means this hair too, because when I moved to Toronto, everything was almost buzz cut, except for this, which was about here. This happened in about a year, and I've had one haircut, so that's like a foot. I feel, I'm not really positive, I don't measure. Numbers are not my talent, okay? But I know my hair grows very fast, I have to pluck my eyebrows every day, I have to shave every day. That's why in some videos I look like Thor, and then the next video I look like a, like a fairy elf princess. Like. So moving on to the pigmentation in my body, um, the number one thing a lot of people will notice immediately is the eye, the eye color. That is my natural eye color, um, it's been that way since I was born, it's just basically it's like the absence of color in my eyes. That's why it's, it's blue, but it's very translucent. So that's why with direct sunlight, they look extremely bright. And it's not that I've you know photoshopped them. It's not that I am wearing a colored contact lens. It's just the light is just reflecting a thousand different ways at once. Another thing that's really interesting is the white forelock of hair. So I'm looking in the camera right now, and I can't really. I just bleached my, sorry, ALB bleached my hair last night, thank you, lady, I love you. I have a natural white hair growth, about right here. This all naturally grows in completely white, 
and it's been that way forever. The rest of it naturally grows in a dark brown, um, but again, I just colored my hair, so you can't really tell. But right here is all white, like Rogue from X-Men. If you guys know Rogue, that's me, that's my sister, that's my mother, it's me. Now, lastly, and I feel pretty importantly, um, Wardenburg Syndrome affects your hearing, right? So, it affects everybody differently. For example, myself, I'm deaf only in my left ear. My mother, for example, has full hearing. She's got Wardenburg syndrome as well, but my cousin is completely deaf and he was born with that as well. So um, everybody with Wardenburg syndrome, for everything, including facial structure, hearing, pigmentation, it's all, there's a degree. There's a degree to everybody. It doesn't affect my life too much. The only time when it really impairs me is uh, in like large open classrooms, for example. During high school, I, I had quite a bit of trouble with that, but I made it work. Um, gymnasiums, I like, there's too much echoing happening in large crowded restaurants or bars or clubs. I don't enjoy myself because I don't know what is happening at all. Um, there's so much background noise and it's like imagine if every sound you ever hear is coming at you right here and it's all right here. That's, that's every day. So if I'm in a large crowded bar, I don't know who's saying what, where it's coming from. I have no idea what's happening. So those situations make me really anxious and panicky because I have, I feel like I have no control over what's happening because I, I don't know what is happening. So that's why I tend to prefer quieter, smaller activities because I can understand what's going on. Um, similarly, if you're walking with me, for example, and you're on my left side, I will run into you many times. Yeah, it's just, it's almost like I can see you, I know you're there, but my body isn't getting the right cues, it's not understanding that you are, your footsteps are in a certain spot, so I kind of walk, I swerve this way constantly, it's really inconvenient, but it doesn't really, like I've got it under control, it's just if you're walking right next to me, I'm gonna hit you. I really just wanted to make this video because I felt like, you know, when I was 11 and 12 and 13, when I was really struggling with my confidence, with my appearance, there was nobody that I could find anywhere online, in the media, anywhere that had a face like mine. So I just want you to know that we exist, we're out there, we have beautiful faces, you have a beautiful face, I want you to know that you have a beautiful face, and if you don't think you do, you will one day, and I can't wait for that moment to happen for you, because it can be very hard to get there. But it's... there's no feeling like it, really. I mean, I'm sure there is, but... It's just, I feel achieved. There's something really empowering about looking very different from everybody around you. And I don't know how to explain that to somebody that's self-conscious about it, but you will find it one day, I think, and it's really exciting. So that's all I can really think of to explain right now, but if you guys have questions, just feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll get to them, I promise. I love talking to you. If you're curious though, you can always research online, there's lots of information, there's many types of Wardenbergs. I went over a very basic, kind of broad spectrum kind of thing. So definitely if you have questions or, or you're curious, there's so much information out there. I'm going to put some links in the info box below that you can check out if you really are interested. That being said, if I find any hateful comments below, I will be removing them because I expect lots of young people with Wardenburg Syndrome to find this video, and I do not need your hateful thoughts poisoning their mind and poisoning their, their thoughts on their selves, because that's just not... it doesn't need to happen. I would love to hear, you know, any questions you have, but just be respectful, because if you are not, I will just remove it, and that will be the end of it. It's just, I just don't have any patience for that anymore. So, um, I guess I'm finished. Until next time, I'll see you all later. I hope you have a wonderful evening and everything. Bye! Ooh, hair up or hair down? No. Yeah, well... This is the struggle.